friends so welcome to our youtube channel e learners edu this is shriyansham mishra and today what we are going to say is so today we are going to learn what is language how it is made up of and uh, how do we use um, the sentences means how to communicate with others so first of all what is language language is nothing but it is a mode of communication it is used to share your feelings or ideas with other this is called language now how is this language made so language is made up of sentences language it is made up of sentences language what is language it is a mode of communication and to communicate with others how do we uh, means we make sentences to communicate to share our ideas with others okay so sentences now wh what do you mean by sentences sentences it is a group of words sentences it is made up of clauses clauses is nothing but it is a group of words that contains finite verb phrase predicate and subject suppose there is a sentence ram is playing with his ball ram is subject is playing is finite verb phrase means verb and um ram is playing with his ball with his ball is a predicate so this sentence the this sentence is made up of group of words and the group of words here make a sentence and with the help of this sentence i can communicate or i can share my feeling or idea with others so sentences it is made uh, uh, sentences is a group of words and sentences also it means th uh, that uh, group of words that contain finite verb phrase subject and predicate is said to be clauses and wherever you see this three elements you will able to identify the clauses or different kinds of clauses so what uh, so how is this clauses made clauses it is made up of phrases what do you mean by phrases now phrases it is um, means it is a group of words that do not contain finite verb phrase or in simple word if i can explain you then phrases it is uh, it is dependent on the main uh, main uh, theme of the sentence means it is uh, when you remove that uh, phrase from the sentence it will have no sense without that uh, without without the other group of words means it will be incomplete so i will try to explain you this in uh, this easily in my further videos but now let us move what we are doing now. means about language now what which language we are going to learn is english english is a language and this language is made up of sentences the sentences are made up of group of words and this group of words which contain finite verb subject and predicate is said to be phrases now this phrases is made up of clauses clauses is nothing but it is a what we can say that it is dependent on other uh, part of the sentence and when you remove that phrase it will have no meaning so now we have to learn um, english language this is right okay so english language also have some grammar topics vocabularies we have to learn writing skill so now english it contains diff 
different steps to learn it first you have you need to learn grammar the main point second you have to improve your vocab means vocabulary or speaking skill and third what you have to focus is on writing skill okay so let's learn today's our first topic that is to learn english we need to focus on this three steps but today first what we are going to say is grammar of grammar's first topic that is parts of speech now what do you mean by parts of speech parts of speech is nothing is nothing but it is uh, what we can say that it is uh, the easy way that you can learn grammar okay so parts of speech have nine nine topics the first one is noun second one is pronoun third one is verb fourth one is adverb fifth one adjective sixth one conjunction then seventh one preposition eighth one interjection and ninth one which is last one it is article so parts of speech it is the two main topic are subject and predicate subject it is what we can say the door of an act door of an action or theme of the sentence means subject is nothing but is nothing but only what we are speaking on what is the topic given to us to speak is known as it is a door of an action it is called subject now today we are going to discuss the three three parts of speech noun pronoun and verb so now noun it is nothing but it is name of person place animal thing or idea now let's make a sentence a simple sentence okay taj mahal is a beautiful monument now taj mahal what it is it is noun do you know why because the definition of the noun it tells that name of anything let it be anything person place animal thing idea anything name is given it is noun just remember this noun uh, noun it is name of person place animal thing or idea so taj mahal is a beautiful monument so what is taj mahal it is a name of monument means name of place so it is an also it is name so it is said to be noun ram was playing basketball here ram is a name of person so it is a noun wherever you see names name let it be of anything person place animal thing or idea but wherever you see name just remember that it, the particular word is a noun okay so what is pronoun pronoun it is nothing but it is used on the place of noun for example ra, uh, for example what we can say hi man see how are you how hi man see how are you uh, so hi man see man see what is it is a name man see it is a name this hi man see how are you this is made up of two sentences first hi man see then second how are you hi man see man see is a noun and second how are you you here you is describing the mansi means it's used it is used to ask the question to mansi mansi that how she is how are you 
How are you? You, it is used on the place of Mansi to ask a question. So, this is pronoun. Um, Taj Mahal is a beautiful monument. It was made by Shah Jahan. Taj Mahal, first sentence we have, um, we have used the name Taj Mahal. But in, but in second sentence, it is, it was made by Shah Jahan. On the place of it, we can use Taj Mahal. But every time if we repeat that, uh, if we repeat that particular word Taj Mahal, it will not be, uh, means, uh, it will not sense good. So that's why we have used pronoun it on the place of Taj Mahal. That it was made by Shah Jaha. So this it, you, he, she, his, her, this all types of words is said to be pronoun. So now, what do you mean by an verb? Verb. Just in easy way if you remember. Then verb is nothing but it is a, it is an action word. Okay. So verb, it is referred to as an action word. Now, verb, she is cycling. Cycling is a verb. Do you know why? Because it is an action word. Some action is being done by her. So, she is cycling, it is verb. Let's take second example, you will understand it better. Um, Ram was charging with his friends. So, what is the action is done by Ram? Ram is studying, so studying is an action. And the definition of the verb tells that any action word is said to be verb. Means, if action is done in a sentence, that particular word is a verb. So, Ram is studying. That is an, it is an action done by the Ram. So, here, studying, it is a verb. Hope you all understood today's video. And we'll see other uh, parts of speech in next video. And I will really try my best to explain you. What we discussed today, what is language, how it is made, where do we use it, why do we use language, this is all we have discussed. Language, it is made up of sentences, sentences, it is made up of words and this group of words is said, this group of words that contain finite verb phrase, subject and predicate is said to be phrase, uh, is said to be clause and words is made up of verb. Uh, means this uh, phrases and words it is made up of clauses clauses means which is dependent on other part of sentence or which do not have finite verb phrase also today we have discussed the main topic of the grammar which is parts of speech the three part of speech noun pronoun and verb we we'll see the remaining one further so hope you all find it useful and if you really find it the, the video useful, do not forget to subscribe our channel, like and share. Meet you in the next video.